So I was called to check this onboard elevator again and we're having this situation. Hello guys, so for today's video, we have another trouble again with our onboard elevator and the door is stuck on the deck. Let's see what is the problem. So come and join me in this new learning. As per our display, the car should be on D deck. And I went to D deck and checked what would be the condition. And while I'm trying to open the door, it cannot be opened. So please take note to put all the safety signs first before touching anything onto our elevator for the safety of yourself and other crew. So getting back onto our trouble. I decided to manually open the door to see what would be the condition inside and upon opening the door this is what I saw the door is right in between a deck and C deck and one thing I have noticed also is that the car sliding door inside is halfway open the first thing that you need to do for your own safety also is to put the elevator in manual operation. And then what I did is I tried to fully open the door but it's not responding. So I did a little bit of observation and to check what would be the cause of this halfway open sliding door. And I even checked the condition of the chain going to the electrical motor and then i have noticed one thing this is low down limits switch whenever the sliding door will be closing it is still activated and after freeing this limit switch and then our door started to open fully and this gets stuck whenever being activated so this is the main culprit why we have this trouble on our elevator. To show you the importance of this limit switch, we will try to open and close this door and to show you what would be the response. So right now it is in open and see that one? It is again activated and it's not opening fully because of this slow down limit switch and it is really getting stuck so to check into our wiring diagrams we have four switches and these are for the fully open fully closed slow down for the sliding of the door whenever you are opening it and closing it and these are the limit switches that is for fully open and the other one is for slow down and then for the close would be on the counter side which is this one which will totally stop also the operation or the open uh, closing of this door and then we have these two limit switches which is designated to slow down the electrical motor once this will be hit and the other one is the main culprit why it cannot push through into opening of this sliding door so what we are going to do is to free this limit switch so that we will have a good working condition elevator so i'll be using this spray cleaner to free all the dirt from our limit switch and then we will apply lubricants so that it will not happen again this kind of condition because it's kind of unsafe if this will happen again while the crew is 
inside this leaf and I also applied this spray to all the limit switches so that they will be also free from any dirt that they have so I have exercised this limit switch plenty times and after ensuring that it is really free moving and it's not getting stuck anymore I applied lubricants for all these limit switches so that it will not happen again or this trouble will not happen again we can avoid such condition this trouble might seem to be simple at your end as you can see on to this video but did you know that if the vessel is sailing in Suez Canal and if the pilot will complain the vessel will be fined at around three thousand dollars for not having a working elevator I also took the opportunity to check the lubrications of the guide rails which they're still in good range and after that I did the testing so this is now the condition of the limit switch after I put lubrications in them and as you can see it is now free or freely releasing so I tried this opening and closing of the door for plenty times until I am satisfied about the current condition and I tidy up everything and check since we have this loose cable so I will put cable tie onto this one and secure it so that we will avoid having uh, any issue again for this elevator again after ensuring that everything is okay i put again the system in automatic operation and as you can see the door automatically closed because this is the default status once the elevator is in automatic operation and i have closed the door and then it is now time for us to check if this one will respond as per its operation so as you can see I press the down command and we will wait for the lift to match the floor on the D deck and we are now ready to open as you can see it is now opening and the door can be open as per my standard procedure I will always test the lift without a person inside so I will try first on a deck and check if it will really travel into a deck as you can see the lift went to a deck and we will keep on testing this one to ensure that once we will put it into its normal operation it is safe for everyone to use this lift as you may have noticed i did not do much onto the troubleshooting i have just checked the condition or parameters that we should be having onto our system and that is why it is a must for you to be familiarized on every equipment that you have on board because every vessel you will be having different makers or different system for every equipment you will be having and one of the most important advice that i can give you is that if you are not sure or if you think it is not safe for you to work onto this kind of machineries, then let the management know about it. Do not touch it if you are not familiar or if you do not know what you will be doing onto this type of machineries. There are a lot of accidents already happen in handling such machineries on board. So for your own safety, if you are not sure then ask for guidance assistance or even email the maker of these machineries so that they can give you the correct way on handling these troubles or even the step-by-step -step procedure for troubleshooting such trouble we are done testing our elevator and now it's working fine so that's it guys i hope you learned something from this video and this is your lucky jake and see you